Okay, I'm going to take a moment here and, and just show you how easy this is to uh, set up once you have your uh, implement and tractor all entered into the system. Um, we'll go up here, choose our configuration, and you'll see uh, we have a lot of things here. And we go through the list here, we're going to do seed monitoring. Uh, means it has a uh, seed uh, advanced seed tube, seed tube monitoring module on it. Uh, row shutoff means we have clutches. Uh, downforce means we have a hydraulic downforce system on there. It's indicating that we are running the hydraulic seat command, and it's linked to the auxiliary input module, which is the the switch box down below. And this is what's called planter hydraulic rate. And there's our row shutoff, there's seat clutches there, seat monitoring, downforce module, liquid fertilizer pump, so it's a liquid product module. Uh, it's running an injection system along with that, so it's just listed as an injection module there. And our dry fertilizer is uh, running a strip to module also, so. And we'll select an event here. Just do a test here real quick, and you can go down the list here. And uh, oops, pick which variety we want to plant, and you'll notice it's set up for all. Um, you know, since there's two hydraulic drives on this planter, it's a 16 row, so each eight rows is being controlled independently. Our liquid fertilizer pump is uh, set up with four sections. And those four seconds work in time with the direct injection system as well. Uh, dry fertilizer, we only have one section to control there. And, uh, and you can enter in as such here. And this is just an example. And now we get to choose what we want to control for, you know, for here. Are we going to control the, the total map that's being produced of the 1152? Or do we want to kind of um, tailor it to just uh, how much nitrogen in the map or how much uh, um, uh, P is available? And I just usually leave, leave it as total product to control. Uh, sometimes uh, when I'm spraying uh, one straight uh, product as example, like to say um, you're spraying Roundup and you're putting down 32 ounces down. You can tailor that to, uh, to control just how many ounces you're putting down. Instead of changing the gallons as, as such, like a 10 gallon acre, uh, you'd be doing 32 ounces and you can adjust it 33, 34, so forth. So you're not actually jumping that entire 11 gallons an acre, 12 gallons an acre thing. So it's a little, a little different that way. And seeds, you only got seeds to choose from here since it's a seed uh, hydraulic drive. And you can do it with the fertilizer here too. That's custom. Same thing there. All right. That'll bring up our uh, summary screen here. Field notes. And this is telling us what, what we have going on in our uh, our amount of product in here. Oh, uh, I do have a virtual terminal set up here running uh, until egg PDC. And there we go, get rid of that. And that all that's doing is monitoring our fertilizer uh, runs. And we can look at just the nutrients as we're planting uh, and, and uh, putting down fertilizer and such. It'll keep a total of how many how many N, P, and K is actually out there um, for for uh, actual product. And this just tells us our productivity, how how fast we've been averaging for speed, um, how many acres an hour we're doing, uh, how long it's been that we've been uh, planting and such. And here's our map screen here. And if we hit this, well, that's not set up. For, 
It's actually set up for beans here, but it's a corn variety. We'll change that later. Um, what we can do here is, is move this just to give us more working screen area here or less and if we want to get into there and adjust things we would hit the wrench and bring that up and now we can um, put in our rate here example 30,000 and let's do 28 or something here Increments of 500 are fine, and you can adjust uh, all those things here. Uh, rates for that container, we could uh, fill it up and probably do a video on actually setting up something like this here, so you can see how we get these numbers here. And uh, once once they're in, they're part of the module. If, if you want to see the modules, you would. Go to your home screen, click the wrench, and then go to equipment and controllers, and you'll see the modules listed here as such. The dry fertilizer is going to be that there, and that's where you can change your controller settings as far as um, PWM values and such. There's also, you can hit the wrench right here and go to your different tabs and get to your controller also speaking of such uh, I'm gonna need to change that to all right for our planter drives we'd have to go in here and actually uh, set this up uh, we could calibrate it and it runs the meter and you count how many seeds are, are being put put out from that it is running e sets so it's pretty accurate by going with what your uh, seed disk is set at. Seed monitoring, you can adjust for singulation alarm. I have it set at 98. Spacing alarm as such there too. Uh, gain is where if your seed sensors wouldn't uh, pick up all the seeds for, for soybeans, let's say, you can adjust that accordingly. Um, we are running wave visions on here, so it, it counts pretty much all the seeds I guess and this would be your downforce setup uh, this is just a, a, a two-channel controller this is, this is not the isobus setup that they have and you can monitor the gauge wheel by row the pounds it's putting down they should all they, they will all vary a little bit um, Anything under under three or five is, is pretty decent. Um, back out of there. That and, and this one here, all that does is cycle through your screens because there's there's so many products that can't all fit on one screen there. And we can hit there to get our singulation, our spacing quality, our skips, our doubles our gauge wheel pounds and our downforce pressure being applied. I like to run on uh, singulation a lot of times. And if you hit this button there, it'll go to our pressures for the liquid. Um, in our injection system, we can go in here and choose the priming of agitation modes that is available for it. And when we look at a granular strip till, uh, it lists just the bins here, uh, bin one, bin two, and our fan speed. Pretty, pretty simplistic um, on what it's telling us here. This button here will give us an option to uh, pause the downforce and, and hold it, or being automatic mode. This is our auto swath button. So when we get up to the uh, sections that have been planted before, It'll all make me turn things on and off on each product that we are doing up here. Um, and here we like to look at uh, the main screen on, and we can just click on singulation, downforce, and it gives us all this information right off the bat.
and if we want to look at any uh, of the products or modules that we are running and maybe need to uh, troubleshoot things uh, like the, I've had issues with a uh, product liquid product module on a flow meter we go to diagnostics here and we can actually see the flow meter pulses being counted up and down accordingly with um, what's going on and it gives us our PWM cycle there too and you can just see what is being uh, run and all connected all at the same time here so there's quite a few things here and our can B is going to be our ISO bus connection and it'll list us what it is and what it can do I hope that this was uh, helpful for anyone that uh, has never seen uh, uh, one of these units and, and how easy it can actually be to set up and run Thank you for watching.